the busy Lamu Island seafront. Boats are lined up to transport goods and people to the mainland, as well as to nearby islands such as Manda, Faza, Kizingitini, and Pate. But as speedboats come and go, you will notice there are three that never leave, and it's not because they are damaged. Watch carefully as several boats sail to their direction. Once there, and after a few exchanges, they leave. We later learn that they were refueling. We set out to find out how they do it. One of the attendants, Kahindi Katana, agreed to an interview. I have a job to use food, petrol, diesel and oil. Now I have a job to use my job to use my job. Yes, this is where you sail into a filling station. A boat that is properly anchored to ensure that rough waves and bad weather don't tear it apart. Kuna boti nyingine mbali na hii ndo huwa inaenda kuchukua mafuta ndo ya kuji hapa ndani. Katika ile mitungi ambayo itakawengia hapa, tunauza pake kisha ile ndo mitungi na kuja chukuliwa, wanaenda kule wanachukua mafuta tena, wanaeleta hapa kwa mitungi. However, in this business there are risks such as fuel spillage which could endanger marine life. Several precautions are taken. To start with, there is this special red container for carrying the fuel into your boat. It is custom made to prevent leakages while refueling. Smoking is not allowed here, as well as lighting any fire. There is also a roof in case it rains. Tunakikisha kwamba mafuta ya fiki kwa maji, kwa sababu vile ambavu utakafueweka, inastahili, uyangalia vizuri, na kama mtu wa mekuja hapa, this petrol station operates 24 hours a day, so there is a bed here where the attendant can take a rest. And also if you are wondering how they charge their phones and where they get power, there is a power socket over here which is operated by solar power and panels which are are placed on top of the boat. And from there they can charge their phones, they can also even listen to radio. Katana argues that the system is convenient in that boats can be refueled while on their way and the station can be relocated since issues of land ownership do not arise. But even so, this improvisation is nowhere near the normal fuel stations located on land in as far as infrastructure is concerned. There is no lavatory here. Also, you will not get services such as repairs and other checks common in normal fuel stations. But there is a caveat. Government regulations on fuel prices apply here. Whatever the merits and demerits of the station, the likes of Kahindi Katana are now able to earn a living and in the process help others achieve the same by keeping their engines running. Peter Mongangi, NTV, Lamu County.